College baseball returned to the Alamo City this weekend. Beautiful day for it. Three mm -hmm. local universities were in action at home. One of those teams, UTSA Roadrunners, played host to Dartmouth for a four-game series. Roadrunners took two out of three going into today's series finale and jumped all over the big green again today. UTSA up 4 nothing as Brian Sturgis pops up to shallow right field, but the wind swirling around away from Dartmouth's second baseman and it drops into the grass and Nick Thornquist slides in at home as a result. 5-1 UTSA. Roadrunners then kept it going in the sixth. Griffin packs it. Slashes a ball through the left side. Jonathan Tapia races around from second to score. Later that inning, Taylor Barber. Nice two drive deep into the left field. Two come in. Roadrunners make it an 8-1 ball game after six innings. Barber finished with three RBIs. Dartmouth, though, threatening here in the eighth. Already three runs across and bases loaded, but Jake Harrison gets out of the jam with a pop-up to shallow center. Roadrunners win this one 9-5. They score 31 runs in the final three games of the weekend to grab the series win. Well, it was great just because we carried over from yesterday. We scored a bunch of runs on Saturday, and just to come right back out and put uh, four runs up early, it just puts your opponent on their heels, uh, allows your pitcher to settle in uh, and really not stress out in those early innings about making every pitch perfect. The mentality becomes you need to pitch to contact, you need to throw strikes because you kind of have a bit of a, a bit of a blanket there where you know, you've got some insurance, they say. Uh, where even if they score a run or get a few hits together, it's not going to make as much of a difference. You still have that lead. So it's, it's just kind of pitching comfortably. UTSA will look to keep the momentum going as they travel to Austin this week. The Roadrunners will face the Texas Longhorns Wednesday night. Their first and only time the two teams will face each other this season. 7 p.m. first pitch. Cardinals taking on Eastern Michigan to finish off the Elmo Irish Classic. Cards up 2-0 heading into the seventh. Ryan Flores gets it started here with a rocket to right field. Advances to second base. Ball gets away from the catcher and is overthrown. Runner in scoring position now. Kyle Bergerman gets a floater that carries his center field. Sacrifice RBI. Two men on base. Eddie Gonzalez singles to center field, completing a two-run inning for UIW. The Cardinals finish the Alamo Irish Classic 3-1, finishes 4-0 here. Here's Coach Hallmark after the Cards victory. I kind of thought we had a good team, but, but we played well. We really did. We played good defense again, so that's two weekends in a row that we've played good defense. That's the most gratifying thing to me. Uh, it's a long season, so... But what best what I told the guys, and I truly believe, is we got to keep improving. If we get content or we, we, we think we are what we are, we're going to go backwards. So we need to look for areas to improve, and there's plenty of them, and keep improving. Not too shabby. 3-1 this weekend in the tournament. But up next for the Cardinals, they'll travel to College Station to face Texas A&M this Wednesday, a 6.30 start. This will be the Cards' first game outside of San Antonio this season. UIW is now 6-2 overall. Not too far down the street, Trinity Baseball played host to Endicott College this weekend. Trinity took the first two games going for the sweep today. Tied ball game in the third. Endicott's Kyle Brennan. The single to left and then the throw to the cutoff man Jimmy Tatum brings it home. Tigers get the out at the plate. Very nice relay. Fourth inning. Trinity's Ian Housen doing work on the mound. Records the strikeout and then another one a couple batters later. Trinity would fall 5-4 to four to the goals. Next up, the Trinity Tigers will take on Babs and Beavers. It's a three-game, four, excuse me, three-game home series against Babson College. Starts this Friday, 7 p.m. first pitch.